Hello, Nistas and Nistos. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. You are here in Nistas Nation. My name is Faith Savings Fashionista, and I wanted to come to you and I wanted to share with you a few of my forever, forever means that I hope that I can always have these products or well, these fragrances in my collection. And when I run out, I will repurchase and I will let you know when I present these products to you how many times I have repurchased this particular product. Um, and why am I saying product? This particular fragrance. All right, so you know, fragrances are in categories. You have brand, it's just a regular brand. You have your luxury brand, like your Tom Ford, your Chanel, and even your products, you have your niche brands like your Killian's, your Bun Number no. Nines, your um, Mason Corbellis, your uh, Manceras and Montels. So those are niche brands, and you also have indie brands. Indie brands are independent um, perfumers or fragrance connoisseurs that have created fragrances, bottled them up, and they do sell them. I do not have I have had them in the past but they are used up and gone and the lady who used to make these products she no longer lives in my town so um and she doesn't have a website so I have experienced some indie fragrances but don't have any right now so what I want to share with you are my forever brand or luxury brand so we're going to start with Trish McAvoy Trish McAvoy number nine it comes in a bottle that looks like this. All right, the Trish McAvoy number nine, it is the Blackberry and Vanilla Musk. This is a EDP. I normally purchase this from Saks. I have bought it, I think, from Macy's before. But this is probably my fourth bottle of this. This um, fragrance right here, um, it retails for about $90. You can get it at most of your um, department stores and you can go to the website also to purchase it. So we're going to talk about the fragrance notes. The top notes are blackberry, plum, and mandarin orange. The heart notes are white rose, osmathus, tiara flowers. The base notes are musk, vanilla, and cashmere woods. Yeah, she's good. All right, you guys. So the brand class, of course, it's a brand. It's not a luxury brand. It's a brand. Trish McAvoy, she's a cosmetic company. I don't, she don't sell clothes or anything like that. So she like sell makeups and, you know, just cosmetics. All right, the fragrance class is a fruity musk. The projection is about a seven. The longevity is about a six. The siage is about a four. And the gender profile is women. You guys, this fragrance... This is, like I said, it's bottle number four. When you first sniff this, even before you hit that itemizer, that blackberry and musk, it, it just, it, it pushes out at you. This is a really good fragrance, you guys. Really, really like it. It is a top number one um, compliment getter. And um, this is one of the fragrances that as long as they sell it, I will forever purchase this fragrance when I have used it up. So again, this is the number nine by Trish McAvoy. All right, the next fragrance that I would like to have in my brand or niche, I mean brand or luxury brand collection forever is Chance by Chanel. All right, so this is bottle number three of Chance by Chanel. When I first got the Chance by Chanel, I got the toilette. The toilette and the um, the Ed Tendre, which is the EDP. It is different, you guys, in my opinion. The toilette smells really good, but I like the EDP better. And um, there are situations where I like the EDT better. So it's not because, you know, the bougie EDP aura is not about that. It's about what I smell and the performance of the fragrance. So let's talk about the notes and um, Chance by Chanel. All right. Oh, and just a little side note. The toilette was launched first and then they came out later with the EDP. And how you can tell the difference, the toilet caps, they are frosted 
and the word chance is written in right, um, white. So the fragrance notes are, um, the top notes is um, quinche. I think I said that right. Um, and grapefruit. The hard notes are rose and jasmine. The base notes are white musk. The brand class is luxury brand because we know Chanel, she's luxury. The fragrance class is floral. And the projection is a seven. The longevity is about a six. The sillage is about a four. And the gender profile is women's. You guys. Oh, I think I featured this before. And the reason why I probably like this so much, like I said, my favorite aunt, um, this reminds me of her. So it smells a lot like her. Um, kind of sentimental. So we're going to just um, move on to the next one. So this is um, Chance by Chanel. All right. The next one. You guys, I want to say this is probably in my top three compliment getter fragrances um little story time i um was going into a hospital and the couple was walking into the garage the car area as i was walking getting out of my car you know walking to the entryway so they got in their car before I disappeared out of their sight and the man he doubled back around with his little wife in the car and he said ma'am um, I hope I didn't startle you but can you please tell me what you're wearing and I said sure and I told him what it was and um, he asked his wife he said did you smell her and she said I did she smelled really pretty so I don't know if he wanted to buy her some or what it was but it is yellow diamond by Versace you guys I've probably had about five of these um, and the Chanel I think that's my third bottle I've had about five of these you guys I am not really pleased or just over you know intrigued by the opening of this fragrance but it's something about the die down on this fragrance I mean this fragrance right here it garners me so many compliments whatever is in this Evidently, it is just designed for what my chemistry, my body chemistry is. So let's just get right into the fragrance notes. The top notes are um, Amalfia Lemons, Pear, Bergamot, Neroli. The hard notes are Mimosa, Freesia, Water Lily, African Orange Flower, and the base notes are Musk, Gayak Wood, and Amber. So as you heard... The fragrance notes in this, it is relatively complex, you guys. And I said this on um, my channel about a candle the other day. When there is high complexity in um, fragrance notes, to me, it's going to either be really, really good or really, really not so good. That's my opinion. Now, some of you may feel different, but that's just my opinion. And this one right here, for me and my body chemistry, it is really, really good. I think it is the Neroli in the opening that I don't particularly care for because when I first spray this, if I don't spray it at the right time and if I just overdo it, I will get a headache. So, um, but this is a really great fragrance, you guys. It smells so good on me. This is definitely a spring, summer fragrance. So let's talk about the brand class. Of course, it is luxury because Versace is luxury. Sometimes you guys, um, these particular brands, they do still hold their brand class, even if their fragrances don't have that luxury price attached to it. Because this right here is very affordable. Um, I know you can get it at any department store. You can get it on um, probably most of the you know, retail um, discount places. You can find this for a very inexpensive price, you guys. Um, the fragrance class is a citrus floral. The projection is a nine. The longevity is um, a 10 because it, it will last all day. The sillage is about a five and the gender profile is for women. So the bottle is really pretty and the fragrance the dry down um, with my body chemistry and this, it is just awesome. 
So, um, Versace Yellow Diamond is a fragrance that I would love to always have in my fragrance collection. All right, the next one, you guys, but let me just give you a little information prior to. The next one is replacing this. I still have the bottle. This is Essence by Narcisco Rodriguez. This um, fragrance came out probably like in 2010 or maybe a little before. It came out during the time that I first started wearing Bun Number no. 9 because um, this was given to me as a sample and I went back to Saks and I bought the actual bottle. So this right here is bottle. I think I had like two of these in the time that it was out. This um, is a musky note, I mean fragrance. It has musk, iris, two of my favorite notes that my body love, musk, iris, rose, and benzoid. So this is no longer on the market, you guys. And when I was researching or pulling out the fragrance notes before doing this video, I went on eBay and someone is selling one of these for like $100. So I had this because I... This is by far my all-time favorite musk. I held on to it because I just thought it was a nice little souvenir to keep. All right, so what I replaced that with, you guys, they later came out with um, Pure Musk. And um, this is probably my second bottle of Pure Musk because... Um, you can't find the other musk, but before I started wearing Pure Musk, I was wearing the Crystalline by Bulgaria, the Omni Crystalline by Bulgaria. I'll leave a picture. That is a that is also a very good alternative for the Essence. But this right here, when they came out with this, I did start purchasing this. I think this was released probably in 2019. I went through it and I bought another bottle, either late 2019 or early 2020 somewhere along that but the um, top notes in here are musk heart i mean the top notes are musk the heart notes are white flowers the base notes are cash cashmere the brand class it is a brand narcisco rodriguez is you know it's a fragrance brand the fragrance class is musk the projection is an eight the longevity is an eight the siage is a four and the gender profile is for women you guys now the reason why i prefer the essence more so than the pure musk because this has more of a florally musk note to me it's more floral in this than it was in the essence but it is a fairly nice substitute and the dna is basically the same because i mean not the same but it's very similar because it came from the same um, company so um i just wanted to share with you um some of my and i think that was four four my top four or four this is just the four that i plan to always have in my collection so um from here on out unless they create something that takes the place of this which i doubt but um those are like my forever brand or slash luxury brand fragrances so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you would please leave some comments below on um, what are some of your favorite brand or luxury brand fragrances and i'll see you guys in the next one and do not forget you yes you you are great bye-bye